long fissure cracks open the frozen earth. An endless stream of lava sprays into the sky, threatening to consume the once peaceful village of Heime. And my father opened up the presents of the window and then just everything went red. The men were running like crazy and shouting. It's erupting. The island is literally splitting in half. I was so scared, I was shaking. It has started raining, blowing pumice all over town, all black. Big chunks were just bombarding us everywhere you look. It was raining on us. All of a sudden, the ball just opened up right in front of us. That is when we realized that there was something really terrible going on. It was a frightening sight. As the volcano continues to erupt, 5,000 people scramble to leave the island. The island was evacuated immediately. Luckily, the, all the fishing boats were in the harbor. So just everybody went to the harbor. And I remember the water in the harbor was really boiling hot. The villagers managed to escape, but their battle with the volcano has only begun. Thirty-three million tons of lava and volcanic rock rain down on Heime, destroying more than 400 homes. Rescuers shovel mountains of black snow from rooftops, only to return the next morning to find another 15 feet of burning debris covering everything in sight. At first we were afraid that the ashes would bury the houses that were closer to the eruption. I uh, packed some clothes and so forth, then I just forgot about the house. <laughs> the lava came up on the north side of it and broke it down. My house was no longer there. The volcano produces a 500-foot-high wall of burning lava that marches relentlessly toward the town's harbor. Iceland is in danger of losing its primary fishing port. Then the lava all of a sudden changes its course. It started heading for the harbor. Our lives here depend on this harbor. But Heime fights back. 43 giant water pumps are shipped in, and 19 miles of pipe are quickly strung together. The townspeople spray the advancing wall of lava with 4,000 tons of seawater per hour, and the fiery 1,800 degree lava cools to 215 degrees. A brave group of Icelandic fishermen has stopped the seemingly invincible monster dead in its tracks. It felt like we had just returned from fighting a war, except in this war we were not fighting each other, we were fighting Mother Nature. There are houses under here and to the harbor. We are standing on top of houses. Jan's new neighborhood has been rebuilt on top of the homes buried below, but he only has to look across the street to see a lasting reminder of the volcano's savage and destructive power. The volcano's reign of terror was finally at an end. For the first time in history, man had battled a massive lava flow and won.